So um, my last question is, you know, um, a support petition has been produced. Yeah. Um, Four or 5,000 people have signed this petition. So when you see that support, yeah. um, just how does that, how do you feel in that moment? <sighs> it, it felt so good, right? Especially since I, I was locked out of Twitter. Right you know, battling this suspension um, and having my account, you know, temporarily uh, suspended. Um, and just seeing the outpouring of support from people who may or may not have agreed with how I expressed my pain, but certainly believed that I had a right to do it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. In however I did it. And that was so important to me. And it was wonderful to see that because not only that letter with, you know, you know 4,000, 5,000 signatures yeah. um, of was like fellow academics, of academics, journalists, students, exactly people around people in this country, in the United States and around the world. And it wasn't just academics. It was professionals. It was right. community members, students, you know, all sorts of people were there saying, we got your back. Absolutely. Now, once again, they were not endorsing what I did or the words that I use, but they were endorsing my right to speak my truth and to speak my pain and not be terrorized and abused and violently targeted for it Hmm. when Jeff Bezos put that target on my back. Absolutely. And then, in addition to that letter... There was also a letter from my colleagues at my university, other faculty, staff, other employees, with more than 100 names on that letter as well. And then another letter from students at Carnegie Mellon who filled, last time I looked, like eight pages Mm. of signatures. And not even on a list form, in like block text, one after the other, thick. Beautiful. And even on campus, they spray painted on sort of the main quad. There are these, uh, there's this wall, this white wall, where they spray painted RIP colonialism on one side and on the other side, let her speak. Mm. These were Carnegie Mellon students who did that. So when I saw all of that, the, the, the outpouring of support from the broader academic community and in general, people outside of my institution, along with my colleagues at my institution and the students that I serve at this institution. I cannot, and I'm, you know, a words person. Words are my business. I'm a linguist. I cannot even find the words to tell you just how thankful and grateful and joyful I felt. Beautiful. In such days of pain, Mm. right? Because I'm a human being. I act tough, right? But you can only take so much abuse. True. So in all of that pain, to get this kind of support, I realize I have people. Absolutely. Mm. I have people. Absolutely. Wonderful. Wonderful. Mm. And that includes us at one hood. (sighs) Yes, well, you got us too. Um, beautiful, beautiful. That was deep. That was intense. 